Hello dear students welcome back to Karim's biology we have been discussing lesson what is science and today is part 10 in today's session we are going to learn about some of the safety rules that you have to follow in science lab okay so let us start the discussion subscribe now and press the bell icon never miss an update children doing investigations in science lab doing experiments is very interesting to the students because by doing these science experiments you know the unknown means so far whatever knowledge that you acquired in the classroom it is the time for you to test the knowledge within the science lab by performing the experiments that's why it is one of the most fun filled activity for any student once he enters into science lab and start doing experiment but children do you know that there are some safety rules that you have to follow in science lab yes children like you follow some safety rules when you are walking on the roads you also follow some safety rules when you are playing in the playground and why do you follow these safety rules the safety rules are meant to keep yourself safe from any kind of accidents in the same way there are some safety rules that you have to follow while conducting any experiment in science lab so in this session i will give some of the safety rules that you need to follow when you are in science lab so the first safety rule is think ahead children do you start the science experiment without any procedure no always we have a procedure there is a name to the experiment there are some apparatus which are listed out that are required for doing this experiment and there are some precautions that you have to take while doing experiments okay that means there are a few steps that you have to write prior to the beginning of conducting experiments so before you start doing any experiment you should make a note of all the requirements arrange all the requirements in uh, in the order of the requirement then you can start doing the experiment and uh, there are some apparatus maybe some chemicals some glassware that are required to you for a performing experiments in science lab and when you look at that chemical compounds or glassware or apparatus that are required and you are using in science experiment there will be some labels on them if you look at the label there will be some symbols that are printed on the labels these are called safety symbols and within your science lab the safety symbols will be displayed somewhere on the walls and it is very important for you to know the meaning of every safety symbol to keep yourself safe okay so here are some of the safety symbols that i have given this is the symbol for animal hazard this is the symbol for sharp instrument hazard that means you may use some instruments such as blades glass rods may be used in the science lab and sometimes there is a chance that you may get injury because of this so that's why this symbol will be printed on the objects which you have to be very careful with heat hazard if the apparatus or chemical or anything if it is able to cause hazard in the form of heat so this is the symbol that you have to look for if this symbol is printed on any apparatus you must be careful because it may cause some damage in the form of heat glassware hazard glass items may be broken and may cause injuries chemical hazards some chemicals such as acids are so powerful that uh, even smelling the acid is intolerable we cannot tolerate and can damage your nostrils electric hazard there are some electrical appliances that are used in the laboratory they will work by consuming electricity so when you use that type of instrument there is a chance of getting electrical shock that so that's the meaning of electrical hazard eye and face hazard fire hazard so these are different types of symbols for example biohazard biohazard is the symbol for the chemical compounds which are life threatening sometimes they may be toxins they may be harmful acids okay so on these chemicals this symbol will be uh, printed and laser radiation radioactive hazard radioactive chemicals may be used sometimes uranium is used generally in laboratories of schools and colleges these radioactive materials may not be used but if you come across this type of symbols anywhere you must be away from it because it may cause some radiation and uh, some skin diseases okay explosive hazard some of the chemicals or some instruments may explode while performing experiment so that type of apparatus will be labeled with this explosive hazard symbol okay so these are some of the symbol and you must remember the symbol and whenever you come across or find these symbols on any of the apparatus that you are using 
you must keep yourself safe as per the caution given by the symbol right that's about the first safety rule you have to follow and the second safety rule is you must keep your work area clean look at this this is a lab over here and you see how this work area is clean in the same way you must also keep your work area clean clean in a sense that no other unnecessary objects be placed in the work area only the apparatus that are required by you while conducting experiment they should be placed on the work area and nothing else should be placed and you should also make sure that your body should not come into contact with the apparatus especially your hair some of the girl students they may have long hair and when they observe under microscope or when they perform experiment this long hair may come into contact with the chemicals or apparatus that's why you should make sure that you have to pull your long hair back the long hair does not come in the way of the experiment and uh, boy students or girl students you may also wear some clothes which have long sleeves and long sleeves may come into contact with the chemicals or some harmful objects okay and may also interfere with your experimental setup that's why you should keep them away from your experiment so that's about the second precaution that you have to take and the third safety precaution is you should not spill or break anything in the science laboratory your science laboratory is full of chemical compounds it is full of glassware items okay and chemical compounds may spill while performing experiments and the glass items also there is a chance that may be slipped from your hands may be broken so your duty is you should make sure that whenever you use any chemical item if you fill any test tube with any chemical or a conical flask with any chemical then make sure that the chemical should not spill out of the glassware if it spills it may fall on your hand or it may just fells on the ground and may cause damage to the tiles or anything and if it falls on your hand your skin may be damaged and if especially if it is acid that you are handling with you should be very careful with it even a small droplet of acid falls on your skin it may cause immense damage to your skin okay that's the reason why you should be very careful when you are filling the chemicals in the glassware and don't allow anything to be spilled out of it and uh, when you handle with glassware you should be utmost careful while holding the glassware in your hand make sure that your hands should not be slippery and when you hold the glassware hold it firmly so that it doesn't slip from your hand because if it all if it slips from your hand and there is no way of preventing it from breaking into pieces and there comes the danger when the glassware item is broken problem is due to the pieces of glassware that are dispersed on the floor okay these pieces small pieces may pierce into your skin and may cause damage and when you are holding the glassware sometimes they may be broken within your hand okay and may pierce into the skin of your hand and may cause bleeding that's the reason why you must be very careful and and hold the glassware items firmly when you hold them in your hand and if at all something happens sometimes even if you are very careful sometimes some chemicals may spill may fall on your body some glassware items may slip from your hands and may be broken then immediately you must intimate it to your teacher don't clean it by yourself okay there are some methods of cleaning the chemicals that falls on your skin your teacher knows about them very well so immediately you must intimate your teacher if something falls on your skin or if you get any injury due to the broken pieces of glassware if you have broken any glassware in the laboratory you must immediately intimate that to your teacher without any second thought okay that is one of the way of keeping yourself safe in the science lab and the next safety measure you know children our elders usually say that sarvendriyanam nayanam pradhanam what does it mean by it it means that you may have so many indriyas or so many sense organs in our body among them most important sense organs are eyes because the eyes help you to see what's around you they are windows of the world when you are in the science lab there is a chance that any chemical may spill even slightest drop of chemical it if it fails in your eyes it may cause immense damage to your eyes in worst case even the person may become blind okay and how to get the safety you can make use of the safety goggles you can wear this type of safety goggles so that you can prevent anything falling into your eyes and uh, don't think that for every experiment you need to wear these safety goggles only a few of the experiments require these safety goggles especially look at here 
this man is heating some chemicals in the test tube when you do so there is a possibility that when the chemicals are heated they may spill and they will be forced out of the test tube right and they may fall on your face or maybe in your eyes that's why when you do this type of heating activities you must keep the mouth of the test tube away from your face even though you take all these precautions sometimes even some droplets of chemicals or something may fall on your eye then you should not hesitate to inform the same to the teacher immediately okay or you may also approach a doctor if the condition become worse in right so that's about safety of your eyes and the next safety rule in science lab is never eat or drink anything during a science activity unless you are told to do so by your teacher you should not eat anything in the science lab science lab is meant for performing experiments not for eating or drinking anything even you should not smell anything in the science lab unless your teacher ask you to do so okay because if you eat anything your hands may be dirty your hands may be contaminated with chemical compounds or some microbes then if you eat with that hands then that's not good at all the microbes or chemicals may enter into your body and may cause and may cause diseases that's why it is always not good to eat or drink anything in the science lab and one more important thing is acids especially concentrated acids like such as concentrated sulfuric acid concentrated hydrochloric acid they are very dangerous when they fall on your skin but they are also dangerous even when you smell the fumes of that acids okay because the fumes when they enter into nasal cavity they may also cause damage to the nasal cavity that's why it is not advised to smell any concentrated acid in the science lab and the next safety precaution is protect yourself from shocks there are some apparatus in the science lab which work by using electricity say for example there may be there may be centrifuge machine which works by using electricity there may be electronic weighing machine that consumes electricity and to provide electricity we usually keep the plug in the socket that is where you must be very careful when you are working with any electrical appliances in the science lab protect yourself so that you don't get any electrical shock okay and unnecessarily do, without informing the teacher you should not pull any electrical cord from the socket and you should not pull any wire from anywhere in the science lab because if you do so there is a chance that you may get electric shock okay that's why these type of things are not allowed in the science lab and the next safety precaution is keep it clean always clean up when you have finished put everything away and wipe your work area wash your hands thoroughly this is the step after completion of experiment most of the children what do they do they complete their experiment they get the result they they make observations and they get the result after getting the result they will be busy in analyzing the result and they forget about the rest of the things okay that is why after completion of experiment after observation of the result when you are leaving the science lab you have to clean the work area because if you don't clean the work area the chemicals or any other things they may get stuck to the work area and next day when you try to remove them or wash them they cannot be cleaned that easy that's why immediately after completion of the experiment you must put everything away in their places and then clean the work area with water okay at the same time clean your hands also thoroughly with soap so that any germs or any chemicals must be washed away from your hand and you will be safe okay so these are some of the safety rules that you have to follow in science lab i hope that you follow the safety rules whenever you go into science lab so by this we complete this first lesson which is what is science from my next session onwards i will start teaching the lesson cell the basic unit of life okay till then have a great day thank you very much